guys, it's Renee from TattooInc.tv. I'm here with Grunt. Grunt is the, uh, one of the owners of Dark Lotus here in Morayfield. Now, it's just opened about eight weeks ago. Yeah, eight weeks, yeah. yeah. They've just launched Dark Lotus here, and they're about to expand this shop here into a 180 square metre studio. So how about this? How did this come about for you? Yeah, it was good. Uh, we sat down with the people in the centre here and got all worked out, did a lot of negotiation and stuff to tattoo the shop in here. Uh, it's the first one in the shop centre that I know of, uh, definitely in Queensland. And uh, yeah, it's been going really well. And what made you come to the idea or be a pioneer in coming to a, a shopping centre and building your studios now? Just to get the artwork out there to the general public to so, uh, get a new clean sort of shop with uh, really good artists. Yeah. And is it more because it's, it's really become socially acceptable, more commercial, that you feel yeah, that right, yeah. this is a like business venture? Yeah, yeah, it's a good business venture. It's good for the art too. And it's great because it, your customers can also do their shopping. That's right, yeah. yeah. So the women can shop and the men can come and get tattoos. Yeah, or vice versa. <laughs> Send the kids to the movies while they come in. Yeah, that's right. There's heaps of stuff to do, you know, so yeah. Okay, and let's talk about um, your new part of the studio that you're going to be opening up soon. How long do you expect this to take? Uh, four or five weeks and we'll be opening a new area down there. And uh, yeah, we'll have clothing range and you know, tattooing and five rooms and stuff like that. So. Yeah. And we were talking um, that you're going to be having graffiti up in the walls, you're going to be having custom canvases. Whereabouts do you get this work from? Just uh, guest artists that we'll have coming through. Um, we've got a lot of friends in the industry, so that we just have people cruising through, uh, make some canvases up, and uh, yeah, they can do what they want. And in the future, what are you planning on doing with your studio? Uh, we're going to expand it into you know, different shopping centres around the place. Um, yeah, the more we can get it out there and get people interested in tattooing, the better. And how do you think the shopping malls are actually going to take having a studio in their premises? Yeah, it's been really good. Um, that's some really good help from the operations manager and stuff here. Um, yeah, and because of the nice open atmosphere, it sort of takes away from the you know, old tattooing type style. Do you get strange looks? People sort of come to Morocco um, for they come to get their groceries and they kind of see you guys here walk past. Do you get any strange looks and go, what? Yeah, we have had a few strange looks, but uh, the old generation of people rock in. We have looked at some of their tattoos, you know, so yeah, it's good. Yeah, so you sort of see some of what's been out there many moons ago and then bringing the new in. Yeah, that's right, and a lot of the old school tattoos are coming back too, the old styles and the signs and stuff, so yeah, 40 year old tattoos are back in trend now. Yeah, and how do you feel about the staff here at Dark Lotus? It's really good, we've sort of grabbed as many good artists from around the place as we can find them all in one shop, so every artist here is you know, excellent in their own right. You guys have really become your own little family. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, we've known each other for a long time around the place, so yeah. How did you guys actually get together and form this team? It's a grand tour. Yeah. And it's a grand tour. There's not a shop out there that has great artists all together in a family atmosphere that I know of, so we sort of tried to make that work. And do you find sometimes that you have like little glitches and then the band that goes on between you guys guys up to so you love each other and have a bit of a laugh, but do you kind of have a little kick on someone there? Yeah, occasionally, you know, plenty pops a fair bit of the ribbon. Uh, plenty of new friends? Yeah, yeah, so we stir it up a fair bit, you know, it's always a spot. Yeah, <laughs> What made you collect tattoos? Is it once you start, like, you just can't stop? Is it you really like the feeling? Is it that it really just portrays your journey of life? I think it's a journey of life thing, people you meet, but, uh, yeah, new experiences and stuff, and yeah, there's so much good art out there, it's, yeah, it's good. How do you think old people will be up to your tattoos, like, say, say you stand in line, shopping mall, whether you're at the bank, wherever you are, or a club, like, what, what do they say to you, do you get the funny looks? Occasionally, the, the old people are probably the cruisers, you know, uh, old ladies and that are really good, they'll come up and talk to you about tattoos that, you know, maybe their old boyfriend had or something like that, yeah, the old ones are great. Yeah, so you actually enjoy their, their conversation? Yeah, it's good. Do you play around with them a little bit? No, no, just, you know, yeah. A lot of a lot of the tattooing back when they were younger and that was fairly out there and, you know, it's sort of restricted, so yeah, now it's... It's socially acceptable now. Yeah, yeah, it's good. That's great. G'day guys, I'm Grunt from uh, Dark Lotus Tattooing in Morrowfield. Uh, come and see our new shop uh, and uh, you're watching Tattooing TV.